Hi, this is James Wine. It's James, a wine guy, here to share this bottle with you today. We went to France to get this wine. This is called Georges de Bouffe. It's from the Broglie, and this is a 2009 vintage, 13% alcohol content. Now, I attended this virtual event called GD and Burgers. It stands for Georges de Bouffe and Burgers. And basically, that's a hashtag. And you can go online and enter hashtag uh, GD and Burgers, and I think you'll come up with this event, which would be kind of cool for you to see all the elements of this event. And the focus was burgers and Beaujolais, which I think is a really nice touch because it's something that I don't often think about. And it was one of these things where we were watching on on um, online the, the event in New York and seeing what was occurring um, in terms of um, a chef preparing three burgers for each of the wines. Now only two of the wines made it my direction because one of the wine bottles broke on transit, which happens. They get a lot of wine, which, um, you know, it's unfortunate, but it just happens sometimes. So instead, we had two great bottles of wine instead of three. And I think it was a really nice event to highlight how harmonious the Beaujolais can be. Uh, basically, it's 100% Gamay. Now, for me, the other wine, and, and for me, it was a uh, Chateau de Capitaine, was so markedly different. It was higher in alcohol content, 14%. This is 13%. This one is a little, I, I'd say a little more... I'm not dense, a denser quality wine, but it's something that's really peppery. Lots of uh, chili ancho and black pepper. And it's not because of heat, just because of the flavor on this. And I think that's a really interesting thing. And that's just one of the, the signature components of this wine, of the Gamay grape. So I'll take a little taste of this wine and tell you what it's like. Just like the trademark for this area. The acids are just profound and everlasting. And I really think it's most suitable for food. You can have it as a standalone wine, but I think in, in terms of enjoying and getting the fullest out of this wine is to serve with food. And burgers was a great thing to do. So, oh, by the way, the burgers I made, I actually just made one kind. I made a sirloin burger with reduced balsamic onions and mushrooms and uh, arugula lettuce. And I thought that was a really nice way to put it together simple to do it probably it made itself basically and to enjoy and pair with this wine i thought it was a really splendid thing to do so this wine gives notes of as i noted earlier that chili ancho that black pepper but you get some qualities of acai and blackberry and i think it's a fantastic wine and it's something that i, I honestly don't think of beaujolais that often and i should and i don't want to be reminded in just thanksgiving time that it's time for beaujolais because in my opinion, it's a year-round wine, and a lot of people take this as a wine that you're going to have as an ancient wine. Or if you're drinking white wine, this is your way to getting to enjoy red wine. So I think that's that's the, um, I, I wouldn't say it's a selling point, but it's what a lot of people tend to do. And if you start in this direction, going from white to, say, Beaujolais, Pinot Noir, etc., do you go back? Well, I try to, and there's so many wines to taste, but... In my opinion, there's I, I can't think of any wine grape varietal that I don't like. There's merit to every wine that I've had and tasted and enjoyed. Now, not every wine, because there's some that are just, I, I don't mean specific wine, I mean varietal. Because there's some wines that just you know don't live up to what I think is its potential. And it's not to be a fence that are like, oh, he can't make a decision on anything, or he doesn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. It's not that, I just think that, there's really, you know, merit to all varietals being produced. So this wine, I give an 8.8 .8 out of a 10.0 scale. And for more reviews, please go to jameswineguy.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube. I'm on Facebook and Twitter. And what we're going to do is we're going to demystify one bottle at a time. Salud. Thank you.